everyone, welcome to this day. It is Thursday, December 29th. We don't have any open meetings to tell you about today, so we'll just jump to who's on our program. But we have Pat Mycone and we have Ro Kendall, who are here on behalf of the Republican Club. And then we get a broadband update from our Director of Media and Communications, Eileen Paulin. Well, we woke up to some rain this morning, but I don't anticipate any more rain this afternoon. We are looking at cloudy skies today, uh, mostly cloudy leading up to some rain that will be happening on our New Year's Eve. Today, 61.52, tomorrow 61.53 for New Year's Eve, 61.51 with a significant amount of rain, so you're going to, have to be careful. And on, six, on um, Sunday, on New Year's Day, 62.46. And then on Monday, we start a series of showers again, 5949. Our sunrise this morning was at 655, and our sunset will be at 452. Now, just a reminder that if you have a Christmas tree that you would like to put out for our mulching program, you can put it out on the following Tuesdays, January 3rd and January 10th. But you will want to call Resident Services at 949-597-4600 48 hours prior to placing the tree by the curb. And as I mentioned, we do take those trees and we mulch them and we spread them around the village here in our plants. All right, when we come back, we'll have the Republican Club, so stick around. change of scenery. You don't have to play golf to enjoy all that 19 Restaurant and Lounge has to offer. From a delicious breakfast menu to our delectable lunch and dinner specials. At 19 Restaurant and Lounge, there is something for everyone. Relax with your friends and family and take in the beautiful view from our spacious patio. Or enjoy a cocktail and appetizer in our lounge. 19 Restaurant and Lounge is a great place to socialize, enjoy a meal, or simply take in the view. Join us seven days a week and experience Laguna Woods' exclusive dining experience. Dr. Vias and the OCI Care staff believe in one-on-one -on -one care and the patient-physician relationship. OCI Care was absolutely the most wonderful place I've ever been to as far as being taken care of. The staff was very friendly and I felt very welcomed and relaxed. How did I feel about Dr. Vias? The man is very gentle, he is very caring and totally involved with detail. Did you hear the big news? The FDA announced the over-the-counter hearing aid program. It's been six years in the making. And what does that mean to you if you wear hearing aids or if you're thinking about wearing hearing aids for the first time? Most people are asking themselves, what is an over-the-counter hearing aid? Would it work for me? Where do I get them to try? How much do they cost? For over 40 years, Advanced Ear Care has been helping answer questions just like this. Call us today and find out more. And remember, tell them Stuart sent you. Achieve a level of comfort you've never known before. The Daydreamer will take you through smooth movements and guide you effortlessly into your favorite positions. Adjust the power pillow for ideal support for your head and neck. This and our positioning technology allows for infinite relaxation. Lay back in zero gravity while watching TV and put your body and mind at ease. Lift your spirits and find your favorite daydream. Contact your local Golden Retailer today. Welcome back. Well, today we have the Republican Club. We have Pat Mycone, and then we also have a new, well, I don't know if she's new to the Republican Club, but she's new to an office position, Ro Kendall. Well, welcome, both of you. Nice to see you, and nice to have you on. Thank you. Thank so, you. Uh, so we, we know all about you, so we're going to get to know Ro here <laughs> yes, a little bit. Yes, yes. Uh, how long have you been with the Republican Club? Well, I've been a member for 
a couple of years here in Laguna Woods, and before that I was a member at Tustin, okay. um, where Pat was president. Oh. So when she moved to Laguna Woods, I was very thrilled, and so I decided I wanted to be more involved. Okay, well that's great, and uh, and you are now taking on the position of, what is it, a first vice president? Mm -hmm. Of programs. Of programs, okay, yeah. fantastic. So what does that mean for you? Well, I'm very excited because I get to uh, research potential speakers mm -hmm. and find really interesting people, people that can address um, issues perhaps mm -hmm. and interests of our community and meeting new people that have accomplished so much. I'm very mm -hmm. excited to be in that position to, to have that experience. Right, okay, fantastic. So you guys have an event that's coming up on January 6th, but before we get to that, you wanted to talk to us a little bit about membership. Yes, Lisa, we have about 350 members of our club and honestly, I've come from a club where we had 150 members and we were excited about having 150. <laughs> so 350 is a very large number. This club has been a very successful club in Orange County for years. Shirley Morgan was a president for 10 years, Kara Blanchard three years. Our club is the second largest club in Orange County. Oh wow! Only Newport, Har Newport Harbor has 700 members. Oh boy! But our club is the second. And it just shows that the, the interest that people have in coming to a place where they can um, be with people that share their like-mindedness. Right. And just this year, we had 102 members, right, Rob? New ones, yeah. And for me, that, that's almost the size of a club, another club in Orange County. Mm -hmm. So we're mm -hmm. really thrilled, and we're glad that we're providing that encouragement and hope and a place where they can come. And she's going to be getting great speakers, and that attracts people to come to our meetings, for oh, sure. Oh, of course, of course. It's always good to hear from people who maybe have been uh, in the political world or military world mm -hmm. or wherever the case might be from other countries as you are yes. going to have now, you're going to have someone who is from Australia. Yes. And you know, they went through an awful lot of crazy stuff during the pandemic and even now, um, Australia is really struggling with a lot of different political issues. They are. So what um, is, what's he all about? Well, he is a career, he, he spent years as a career military officer in the, in the Australian Department of Defense. Mm -hmm. And now, currently, he's the CEO and general manager for the Election Integrity Project. Oh. And they, the Election Integrity Project of California, Lisa, um, actually succeeded and they, they won a lawsuit two years ago that mandated that LA County clean up their voter rolls. That hasn't occurred in 30 years. And one of the things, and I'd like Ro to speak to him, him being an immigrant, what we've noticed about immigrants coming to our country. Laura, well, will you want to speak to that? I will, I will say that I can relate because I am an immigrant. I came when I was three years old to America. Mm -hmm. And of course, I always thought I was American until I went back to Europe for the first time when I was 16 and I saw where I might have been had my parents not been brave and come to America. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I am so grateful. I thank God every day. And I know that this is the best country. And that's why I'm just, I can relate to Malcolm and how hard he's fighting to preserve our integrity of our elections mm -hmm. and uh, everything. Because it's, when you have another perspective, it makes you much more focused on um, what you want to preserve. Right. Makes you more aware. I think. What part of uh, Europe were you from? I was born in Germany. Okay. And my parents were uh, refugees from Hungary at right. the end of the war, right. and they met at an internment camp in mm. uh, Germany. Right. So I have my mother tells me about the Russians coming in and being brutal, and you know I have uh, I have some history with with that. So right, it's exciting to be here. So as you know, and and this is a. a, a not really, I mean, it could be on either side, right? Mm -hmm. You talk about um, many, many folks that are coming over the border, and they're mm -hmm. always looking, I mean, people are looking for a better life, yes. right? And of course, with America, we've got our freedoms, and we have lots of things that we can do here uh, against other countries. However, we do have a lot of folks who are coming over the border potentially illegally. Yes. So we would prefer them to go through the right ways. Yes. However, you know, it, this might be interesting to hear what he says because. You know, well, Australia doesn't really, I mean, you can't really come in to Australia because yeah, you have a right. ocean, yeah. right? So yes. will he be speaking to anything like that? You know, I don't know, Lisa, so we're looking forward to that. He's, he's going to be speaking to how we can, pre, you know, protect our, our country going forward. I don't know. Well, because he is an ex-military, so at least yes. he'll have some sort of 
idea yes. of what we need yes. to do, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. You know, as Republicans, we 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 have to think globally, but we've got to act locally. So in Laguna Woods, what can you know? We want to inspire and get involved with our right. people, what they can do. Mm -hmm. You know, we our, our thing. We want to pr protect free speech. Right. in our community, in our for all civilians, for mm -hmm. all citizens. Mm -hmm. We want to uh, have safety in our community, law and order. We're going to have Sheriff Barnes coming, Don right. Barnes coming again in April, and Ro right. just set that up with him. Good. So, and, and also we just want to, you know, have, have, have our, our villagers and our members be able to make their voice be heard, and, right. and we have our, our grassroots. Want to speak to our grassroots. I know Ro and I were just talking about the <laughs> grassroots in our club. <laughs> Wow, uh, that's a, a thing that appeals to me also, that the club is very active and they do, uh, they sponsor uh, some movies we've had at the mm. Performing Arts Center that are topic of, topics of interest. Um, mm -hmm. Justice Thomas was a film about him, which was awesome. But also we're doing this grassroots effort right now to invite people and come and write the letters to the Supreme Court. It, we have the letters already published. You just have to sign it at a personal note. And we're hoping to just you know, get as many letters in as we can. But those are just uh, an example of the initiatives that the club provides to get people involved in a more um, hands-on way. Everybody says, well, what can I do? Mm. The very smallest things, lots of those, will add up to a big thing, and that's mm -hmm. what we're that's trying good. to encourage. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Because you know what? Anytime you go to do those kinds of things, it's not just for you personally. It's for yeah. all Americans yes. that are living yes. amongst yes. you. And um, something that I would like to ask you as Republicans is that are you noticing uh, that many folks in Congress and Senate are not necessarily acting on behalf of everyone, they're acting on behalf of themselves. Oh yes, we notice that, and so many people are getting discouraged. They don't, they're saying they don't want to vote, Lisa. That was yeah. one of the challenges in this yes. last election. Mm -hmm. We had to really encourage people to let them know that their vote counts. Right, right. And that, and that, I know is, both that is parties, concerning, right? Both parties have exactly. that going on. Exactly. And we want to unite our country. We, you know, we, we're, all, we're all citizens, we're all villagers. We care about this country. Right. And it's not partisan. And that's what I like about, you know, Malcolm is, you know, I think um, the initiative of the Election Integrity Project is not a partisan. Right. We all want honest elections. Exactly. We all want our vote to count. Right. Well, let's take a look at when that is again. Of course, yeah. it's January 6th, mm -hmm. Clubhouse 5. You have social hour at 11, and then the meeting starts at 11.30, and then you have lunch at 12.15. And, of course, if someone wants information, they go to the Republican yeah. Club, LWPrez, at gmail.com if they want yes. more info. Fantastic. Well, thank right. you both so much. Nice well, to meet you. Thank Thanks you. for coming on again. We'll look forward thank to hear what you have next time. Thank you, Lisa. All right. Bye-bye. As I mentioned, you can always send an email to Republican Club LW Prez at gmail.com for more information. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Dr. Bobby Awadala here at Skin Credible Dermatology, and our goal is to turn back time naturally and beautifully. My experience with Skin Credible has been incredible. And Dr. Bobby made gestion to use Botox or Xeomin and it turned out beautifully. I'm very happy with the results. We know you'll love Skin Credible so much once you try it. We're willing to offer new patients their first treatment at $6 per unit. So give us a call or visit our website so we can start that journey an entrepreneur and have been struggling with staying focused on tasks. I needed something to help me with focus and memory and have found the holy grail of multivitamins. MindSense One has removed my brain fog and now I have better clarity and can focus on tasks and remember names and places much better. MindSense One helps support the eight indicators of brain health. Purchase at MindSense.info or available at these fine retailers. Oh, 
Welcome back. We have Eileen Pollan here, who is our Director of Media and Communications. Welcome. Happy holidays. Thanks, Lisa. Happy holidays to you, too. Can't believe they're here. I know. It's just five more days. Um, and there's some big changes happening in 2023, and this has been an ongoing research project that I know uh, many of you have been involved in. But of course, now you right. at least have some concrete ideas and things that you right. can share. Well, there's kind of two things going on that I want to help people to understand. And one of them is that GRF really understands um, that, and a lot of people, and we're going to be talking a lot more about this on TV6 in the future, but the infrastructure that runs our cable television and our internet is owned by GRF. And that is a very rare situation because normally these are you know, run by an outside entity. So it's a very, very valuable asset that GRF has. And it's part of the reason why people are able to get their cable TV and internet at much, much lower rates mm -hmm. than what they would be paying if they lived outside the village. Okay. So GRF at, has, and with staff has recognized that we have, we're at a point with that whole system that we're getting to end of life on some of the, some of the technology. So we've been spending a great deal of time the last six months taking a really close look at what, what's the best thing to do for the village and for right. the residents. Right. We don't have that answer yet. <laughs> but one of the things that we do know is that we are starting to have much higher demands for internet speeds. Okay. So I wanted to just touch a little bit. I think, and this is one of my favorite graphics, the one that you have up on the screen mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. A lot of us don't realize how much more use that we have of the internet than we had even five years ago. Oh, yeah. um, and I, oh, you know, yeah. I want our residents to think for a minute. They may have a desktop, then they may have a tablet. They may have a laptop that they use. Yeah. They have, may have an Apple Watch. They may have a um, health device that is monitoring their you know, right. heart rate and different things right. like this that are all on the internet. They're run Another the biggie one here is the thermostat because now oh, right. many people are switching over to those digital ones they can control and so they don't have to get out of bed. That's, that's <laughs> right. Well, many, and many of our residents are moving in, they're doing major remodels yeah. and you're right. And then, you know, we've had a lot of people ask, can I have a ring doorbell in here? Well, ah. of course you can have a ring doorbell. You right. can have a Nest camera system, whatever you want. So the point is that there's much more demand. Yes. And we are in a partnership with West Coast Internet. So mm -hmm. what I'm talking about right now is G this, yes, GRF is in a partnership, but GRF does not. We provide the infrastructure, but we don't bring that Internet line into the village. That's done by West Coast Internet, okay. which is a partnership that GRF's been in for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And it's been a good partnership. So in talking, it's time to, to up the speeds is the point. So in yes. order to be able to really do that properly, um, I just want to talk a little bit about what the plan is. Okay. And um, as I will keep talking. So what you have here, and I'm going to be the first one to tell you that this is not going to be that easy for our viewers to read. And I'm going to tell you where you can go to look at it if okay. you really want to analyze it. And that is if you go to the website under calendars, and you go to this month's GRF meeting, which was the first week in December, mm -hmm. and you open the agenda packet, there is a staff report in there that has this chart. And what it shows you is what the current speed levels are, what the new speed levels are proposed to be, okay. and the rate increase that will be going into place. Okay. But before we move off the slide, there's one really important point. This is really a win-win for our residents. Because let's just say that you're at the lowest speed there at, thir at uh, 15 over 3 MPPS. You're going to get your speed doubled mm. for $3 a month. Oh. But if you're at the next level right now at oh, the I old see. speed of 30.3, if you want to, you can bump up, or I should say down in a way, but you can go to that other rate which is up above it, and you're still gonna you're still gonna see an increase. So let's just oh, say, gotcha. see you're at thirty yeah. point C. So you're gonna bump up, and you'll save money. So okay. that part's a win-win. But we also have to take in mind, and we ought to take a look at the subscriber counts just for real quickly. Yeah. And again, this is a this is a slide that's better looked at probably on in the staff report. But mm -hmm. we have seen a growing increase year over year. It's close to 20% of our residents are at the highest speed we offer. Mm -hmm. And we're losing people at the lowest speed. Okay. So we saw that there was this demand. So the feel was it makes sense to upgrade what we're offering. Yes. We have not had a rate increase since 2014. 
Wow. Now, will you offer all of those levels still? All of those levels. Now, the one thing that you, we do want to make sure people understand is people who are at the lowest level right now will be allowed to stay at that tier. Okay. However, we're not going to be offering it to new residents. We want to grandfather that and sunset it because it's really becoming, mm. it, it, in another couple yeah. of years, it, it's not going to do anybody much good. However, if somebody chooses not to do it right away, would they be able to change over at some point? Like, are you locked in for a year once you sign no, up for that particular? No, you're not, no. Okay. But that's one of the beauties with working with West Coast Internet. Okay. You can change at any time. Gotcha. Um, and I think, I think what people have to understand is they have to just look at what their usage is. Yes. Another thing that's really affecting this is streaming. Uh -huh. And I think just about all of us that are active in, in looking at entertainment content are streaming. Mm -hmm. And that requires a lot more bandwidth. It sure does. Those movies, for yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 Well, that's really good information because, like you said, we, we've had the system for quite some time the way it is. And now it is time. Now it's going to take um, some moving around of, of well, fiber and things like well, that, this, right? This particular move that we're making right now does not affect the infrastructure. Oh, fantastic. We are able, because of the fiber that we have there, we just have to work with the West Coast Internet okay. on that technology. That's great. Separately, at some point, you're right, we are going to have okay. to really take a good, solid look at what's underground with fiber, but that is almost a, it's part of this project, but it's almost a separate project. Okay. And that is being handled by the GRF ad hoc committee, okay. broadband ad hoc committee, and mm -hmm. it's made up of members of all of the boards and several strong advisors. Okay. And uh, we've been working now for uh, quite a, quite some time on this, right. and the beginning of the first quarter of next year is really going to be, a, a, these people are putting in, I just want to let you know, these residents are putting in so much time on this. Yeah. Because yeah. we have to help them understand a technology that's quite complex yeah. so that they can advise the right decision that they want to make for right. how we invest in this. Right, and and it, it like you said, it's complicated, and many folks may not be aware of some of the technology that is available today. Most people just want to turn on their television. <laughs> don't we all? Hit the button, yeah. turn on the TV, you know, hit the button, get on the internet, yeah. and they yeah. don't understand that right. when you're walking and driving in this village, you're walking and driving over this incredible infrastructure that makes right. that happen. And right. we have a whole team of people that make 24 seven that yeah. keep that going. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so let's look at the countdown here of how this all came about. So we've, uh, November 1st, you had a contract change. Well, let me, uh, one thing I want to really emphasize, we held some focus groups this year, and um, one of the things that really came through very strongly from our residents is they feel like they're finding out about changes after the fact mm -hmm. rather than before the fact. Mm -hmm. So in our media communications department, we're trying to work very closely with the boards. If you have a major initiative in committee and you are going to bring that to the board, we want to let people know that that's coming up. So. Okay. That was the purpose of just showing you the timeline here. So what happened was we brought this to GRF and they agreed with the committee's recommendation. Mm -hmm. So they brought it in their December 6th meeting. They brought it up as a resolution, but it's on 28 day. Okay. And so January meeting, January 3rd is when they're going to meet to vote on this finally. And then if the vote goes through, which is anticipated, uh, the increase will go in place in March. Okay. But we want it, again, part of my being here today is to let people know right. and that this is coming. It's not a surprise. Yeah. But it is part of getting the, re the village ready for the future. Exactly. And uh, so now it's still on 28-day notice, and it won't go to approval until January 3rd. So what can a resident do between now and then? If they have any concerns or questions, I mean, first of all, I, I mentioned where the staff report is. Right. They can come to the meeting and okay. ask questions. Okay. I would be happy if they wanted to contact me. I don't have any okay. issue with that. Um, my email is eileen.paulin at vmsinc.org. Okay. And we can answer any questions that people have. Or if they have a comment that they would like read at the meeting, they can send an, uh, an email to info at lagunawoodsvillage.com. Okay. But I would strongly recommend, and I, I anticipate that there's certain people like, oh my gosh, you know, what are they doing? And 
that really maybe don't understand the importance of this and why it's been a it's been a very well thought out recommendation. Sure. Um, and I'd be happy to try to answer any questions that they might have up front. Okay, perfect. Well, yeah. I appreciate all the information. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, and uh, you. good luck with all these changes. That's thank a, you. That's We've a been big busy. Job. Let me tell you. Okay. So. Perfect. Right. And uh, did you want to? I just wanted to say to everyone, I'm going to kind of break the wall as they say, we just appreciate working with all of you residents and from those of us in the media communications department, including the TV6 team, and those wonderful techs who come out and make sure that your broadband is working for you all the time. Happy, happy holidays. And it's a pleasure, and we just wish you the best. Thank you. If you want more information about anything that was related to broadband or internet, you can always email us at info at lagunawoodsvillage.com. We'll be right back. Are you struggling to hear in your noisy dining room? Do you have to pause and think about what people are saying so you can figure out the words? Do you find yourself lost in conversations? Can you hear, but you don't understand the words people are saying? You need to get on the ARC. No, not Noah's ARC. This is Stuart's ARC hearing aids with artificial intelligence. You will never know how much better you can hear until you listen to the clear sound and noise right in our office. Call us today. Don't miss the boat and tell them Stuart sent you. Okay, so New Year's is right around the corner, just a couple of days away, and you can still participate in either one of the fun activities that recreation has for you. We have a fun event that's happening at the Performing Arts Center, five incredible acts, and uh, those range from magic shows to music, and you can go ahead and get in touch with recreation at recreation at vmsinc.org, or you can get tickets at tickets.lagunawoodsvillage.com, or you can choose to go to the other event that they have, which is more of a traditional New Year's Eve celebration with dinner and uh, uh, cheersing at uh, complimentary champagne, and uh, that, of course, you can also get in touch with them at recreation at vmsinc.org. One other thing I just want to quickly tell you about is there is going to be car inspections again from the car club and that is going to begin on January 7th. So you want to go ahead and make sure that you make your appointment uh, between the hours of 9 and noon and you need to call Paul Kratzer at 323-528-1442 or you can visit their website lagunawoodscarclub.com. Then also a very fun event for college football day. It's going to be the championship game and this is going to be uh, held on Monday, January 9th in, in Clubhouse 5. It is a free event. Doors open at 4 p.m. Okay, let's take a look at our weather. As I mentioned, we had a little bit of rain this morning. We aren't anticipating any more rain today, but you never know. Mostly cloudy skies today, 61.52. Tomorrow, 61.53. Then we are expecting quite a bit of rain overnight on New Year's Eve, 61.51. Partly cloudy on New Year's Day, and then we start another rain series uh, on Monday, 59.49. Have a great day in the village. We will be back again tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. right here on Village Television. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.